Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to another mystery potato video. Today, we're gonna be going over the green potato. If you're new here, I'm Athena, and I cover a lot of Disney Dreamlight Valley content. So before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content. Now, for this potato, we are gonna have to fish out of the water 16 different emerald bottles and they are scattered around the valley and i'm going to show you exactly where each of them are so starting off we are going to be on dazzle beach in the top right hand corner and this is going to be where our first emerald green bottle is now i'm showing that if you fish directly next to the bottle nothing's going to happen you have to fish directly on top of the bottle for it to produce those golden nodes or golden ripples for you to actually see that that is what you are fishing out. Once you hit directly on top of that bottle, the golden ripples will let you know that the bottle is what you are going to get. Now there are five different bottles on Dazzle Beach, so I'm going to do my best to show you exactly where those bottles are. We're heading to number two right now. And it is going to be on that small little island by the Skull Cave. If you're looking at the map, it's going to be on the left-hand side of that island. And we're going to go ahead and fish that one up. And then the second one on the island is on the opposite side, on the right-hand side of that island, kind of in front of the Skull Cave. So now heading to number four for Dazzle Beach, it is going to be on the bridge that crosses from one side of the beach to the other. And you can fish this bottle out from the bridge itself, so don't worry about trying to go around your decorations. For number five, it's going to be all the way on the left-hand side of Dazzle Beach. And just go ahead and fish out number five. For number six, we are going to head to the Glade, and it is going to be in one of the ponds. And then number seven is going to be in the river that is kind of directly in front of Mother Gothel's house, but close to the very bottom bridge on the map. For number seven, we are going to cross that bridge, and it is just going to be, again, in front of Mother Gothel's house in that little moat slash river. And again, you're going to have to hit directly on top of those bottles in order to get them. Or else it's not going to work. For number nine, it's going to be all the way at the top of the glade near that bigger, larger body of water. And this one was kind of difficult for me to find, but it's in the cottontails and the weeds up in that body of water. And then once you kind of get that sweet spot, you'll be able to get that one out. Number 10 is in the Peaceful Meadow. In the left-hand side of the map where those two small ponds are, it's going to be in the uppermost pond in the little weeds that are in the water. And then number 11 is going to be across the Peaceful Meadow in the larger pond at the very bottom. For number 12, we are going to head up to the Sunlit Plateau, and it is going to be in the river that snakes around the middle, and it's going to be at one of those tip points, kind of in the middle of the river. And for number 13, we are just going to cross the Sunlit Plateau to that larger pond, and at the bottom right-hand tip of that pond is going to be the 13th Emerald Bottle. For number 14, head up to the Forgotten Lands. In the pond that is in the top left corner of the biome, you are going to find the 14th Emerald Bottle. There was already a golden ripple there, but it ended up giving me the bottle instead of the fish, so I feel like I kind of lucked out. For number 15, we are going to be in the forest next to Elsa's cave. And that one, I had to work around my decorations, but we made it work. And then last but not least, for number 16, head up to the Frosted Heights. The last bottle is going to be located in between both bridges. 
And there you have it. That's all of the bottles. So now what you need to do is you need to go ahead and open up every single emerald green bottle that you fished out. And it's going to give you an emerald sliver. You need all 16 of these emerald slivers in order to continue to the next step. So go ahead and open all of these bottles. I ended up doing them all at the same time. But if you want to open them as you're catching them... Feel free to do that. It might save a little bit of time. Head to your crafting station, go to functional items, and you're going to want to craft this jade crystal. So as I said before, this is going to require all 16 of those emerald slivers, and we're going to need to go ahead and craft that. Once you've crafted that, head into the mines in the Sunlit Plateau and go into that secret room that got introduced to us during one of Simba's quests and there's going to be a shelf that has this green orb on it and you're going to have to go ahead and interact with that. It's going to drop something for you and it's actually going to be these kind of green looking jelly bean seeds. In order to plant these seeds you can only do that in the Forgotten Lands. Head up to the Forgotten Lands, plant those seeds, and then you have to wait for it to grow. I ended up crafting a growth elixir in order to make that time go by faster. So before you water your seed, make sure to make that elixir if you don't want to wait for it to grow. Use that elixir on your watering can and then water that green seed and it will automatically be ready to harvest. Go ahead and harvest the seed. It's going to produce a green potato. So there it is. We finally have the potato that we were waiting for. Head back to the crafting station. Go to potions and enchantments. And it will allow you to craft the crystalline green potion. Now that we have the green potion... I don't know what to do with it. We're just going to put it in our inventory until we know exactly what to do with all of these. So now leading up to this, you should have the Raging Red Potion, the Electrifying Orange Potion, the Gleaming Gold Potion, the Crystalline Green Potion, and the Brilliant Blue Potion. And this leads me to believe that we are going to get one more potion and it is going to be purple because we have all of the other colors of the rainbow. And I'm hoping we'll be able to put all of these potions together for one big rainbow potion. I don't know what it's going to be used for, but I'm really excited to find out. If this video helped you today, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be on the lookout for the next mystery potato video, because that will be coming out very, very soon. Take care.